Stores and restaurants are required to have customers wear masks inside. But what happens when a customer simply refuses? 13 on your side's Elena Holland tells us what happened at one West Michigan ice cream shop and how it was all turned around for good. And then you want two separate At the front porch in Spring Lake, you are required to wear a mask to come inside to get your ice cream. That's per our health department, and that's not my rule. But every now and then, owner Kelly Larson says some customers just don't like that rule and will argue with the employees about wearing a mask. Employees who are mainly teenagers. If you have a beef with the policy, it's not the 17-year-old kid who can help you. Go talk to your elected officials. Have a peaceful pro you know, protest or something, but certainly please don't yell at the children who are trying to make you happy. Saturday night, an especially angry group came in and yelled at the 17 year old working behind the counter. Larson said they were acting unruly and the workers called police to escort the group out. We had crying, we had tears, they feel bad. But then a very different customer came in Sunday morning that made that 17 year old workers day. When she first came in, I, I was like, why, I was, why is she carrying Two bouquets of flowers. A woman with a gesture of sympathy and gratitude for the teenage workers. Larson had posted on the business Facebook page about the incident with the angry customers the night before. And this woman just wanted to show some compassion. I asked her what she would like and she said, well, I came here to give you these flowers for you and your employees because I read your guys' post and it really like made me feel bad. The worker said she was still a little worried coming in for her shift that morning after the incident the night before, but said this made her heart happy. She didn't get the woman's name, but she has a message for her. I want to thank her. It just left me like super happy because she like, that was just like a random act of kindness that I wasn't expecting. Since the incident Saturday night, Larson said there has been a handful of kind gestures similar to this one. It's overwhelming. It, uh, it gives me goosebumps. And during what she called an odd year, seeing the support for a locally owned business when something like this happens leaves a huge impact. Thank you. Thank you for caring about us. In Spring Lake, Elena Holland, 13 on your side.